Hi there, I'm Peter from the Calva team. I want to demonstrate the workflow for interactive shell scripting. And we are going to use uh, this tool chain we're look looking at now. Uh, it's Image Magic with Pango support. And we're going to use not Bash, but Babashka, Babashka for the interactive. Uh, shell scripting. So we are switching out Bash for writing uh, our uh, shell script uh, in Clojure. And with that, we get the REPL and interactive programming. So, uh, yeah, we're going to um, build this image we're looking at, which is a composition of three logos and some text. And this text is um, composed using uh, the Pango markup language. Uh, we see the command line here. So we will be running this script and put the output here. And you can see that the same command line here. And we have the script here. So let's look, let's look at that first. So here it starts with the shebang, which will start uh, Babashka, BB, with uh, examples as the source path. And in Babashka, we will use um, Babashka FS for the file system, file system stuff, and Babashka process for shelling out. So here we are shelling out to convert, and here we are shelling out to montage. Those are the two image magic um, commands that we will be where we will be using and at the bottom of this script uh, we can see that when this is run from as a script from the command line uh, these two will be equal so it won't do that this then instead it will be running uh, the compose function uh, with the output path from the command line X and the compose function we have here it takes the output path uh, creates the output directory and then builds some temporary uh, paths for for the intermediate files and then we start uh, the actual composition so it starts with us calling convert white image and here is the pango argument here and uh, this is the the pango markup for creating this text and then we create the montage of the th three images so this is the image magic logo the pango logo and the babashka logo and we tile them on on a row and then we we use that yeah well then we resize that montage image to 1200 in width and 383 in height don't ask it is 383 in height and uh, then we build a new montage with this resized image and the pango text image and that one we tile on top of each other instead so that is what we will create this this image here so let's run this script then and this is running in docker so these temporary files here the intermediate files we can't really reach them uh, because to uh, to look at them because they are inside the docker container so we would need to run this um, in uh, uh, locally instead to see them. But let's first look at the output. So this is what we created. And it looks very similar to this. The difference is here because in the script I have played a bit with it. So that it says latest test here so in, in our when we run it that's what we get there but yes so i guess we can close that one and so now this is the image we're looking at i can place it 
like this when we play with it and let's run this locally then so now i'm r running this locally for the same output but to see that it actually changes that let's fix this so now we change it to latest again because that's the actual tag that the image has and we run it and you can see that it changed uh, the text there uh, for us but now we might want to look at the intermediate files so we can look at one of them here you see this is the intermediate file first with just the text that we then compose uh, on top of that uh, but this was about interactive programming and right now we have just been doing like regular old-fashioned programming with running a script uh, so instead interactive programming and for that we will start uh, the REPL so I will use the REPL button here start your project and connect with the REPL and, and connect it aka Jackin that's what it's called in Kawa so I like that and then we select the Babashka REPL because this is a Babashka script and that's now we have a Babashka REPL running and that that means that we can load this file and load the value current file control alt c enter let's do that control c enter so now we loaded the file and instead of running the script these two are not equal anymore because this one is nil and this one is the name of the script or the path to the script running so it will not be equal and that it will not do this print this so that's what it printed here for us so now we can run uh, the script ourselves using this uh, what, what can we do to see that we are actually running the script we can move the most important of the tools to the top here and i will evaluate this function alt enter is i'm pressing alt enter to evaluate the function and uh, so now there is a new version of this uh, function and if I call this new version of the function alt enter again uh, it will run this and it will move Babashka to the front here of these images well, otherwise it is, it is the same composition and um, uh, so where were we? yeah and now let's look at the intermediate files here so we can take this one and open it so we can have a look at it and we can let's see it's important to take the right one right one here so we'll, we'll open all three of them um, load. so we have that one the text and the first montage uh, intermediate file and then we open the third one so let's place these in some order here we take the text here at the top and we take um, the first montage below that one and we take the second montage below that one below that one so now we have those there so we can take the final composition place it there yeah maybe we, we can have it like this so we'll have the the position now we want to change the text here a bit because i have forgotten the thing i've forgotten to add my docker hub name to um to the image here so this is not a full um, image uh, path here so let's fix that and now uh, since we are in in the REPL we can work with only this part so only this part of this function instead maybe this function is too big I don't know but anyway we want to only work with with the uh, text part of it here so uh, I will do that but the thing is that we can't just run this uh, because uh, it will have 
Pango path is not the res there's a symbol it can resolve because that symbol does not exist in the namespace. It's a local variable uh, to this function, but we can move it out of the function if we if we like, in a sense. So def is how you you define things in the namespace. So we define the namespace variable uh, symbol variable pango path to the function local pango path. So now what we need to do is we need to evaluate the function again. Now we are again have a new version of this function that does this um, uh, the, uh, inline definition. And then when we run this function, we will again as a side effect regenerate all these images, but we will also be defining here. So now we can actually evaluate that and it evaluates to yeah to the full path of that file. So now we can actually evaluate uh, this and we will only be updating this and I can prove that by repeating the image name uh, with my uh, Docker Hub name. Cospaya is my Docker Hub name. So now I, okay. Uh, so now we can evaluate this uh, form again, this form. And I only have to need to have my cursor either there or there. And I evaluate it with control enter. And then you can see that it has changed this file here, but it hasn't haven't changed this file here because we haven't run the full uh, the full composition here because we only run this part of the function. If we want to run the full composition, we can of course run this again, and then it will update this one as well with that. So what can we do? Yeah, we, I guess we could. Uh, uh, maybe it's a bit more fun if, uh, let me do this. Uh, we will paint my, my Docker Hub name a bit in purple, say, for ground equals, equals, uh, uh, Entry purple. Um, this is a light purple. Uh, so now, if we I need to close off that span as well, right? Now, if we run this, it will paint this in, in purple. Uh, there, uh, maybe this is a bit more pretty if we do some spacing around that. Oh, still, this one hasn't run here. But um, yeah, I can run that by running the whole function. Yeah, like that. And since the image is actually... Uh, sorry, what happened? No, I need to evaluate the function for that. Now I, I can run this and it will. So what happened there was that we have just been evaluating this and running this. We hadn't actually re-evaluated this function. So we got an old version of the function when I ran it before. But now it's a new version of the function uh, uh, like that. And we have a new uh, composition where we can look at it in its full beauty more. Uh, more like that, if you like. Yes, so that's what I want to show you. Uh, of course, uh, the shell script can be much more um, complicated than this, and that's when this interactive programming really comes into into its full power uh, to be able to to build your shell script 
in small pieces that you can test and run and evaluate and inspect uh, piece by piece. It's beautiful and it's, uh, yeah, the best way you can code. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will try this uh, out. This example lives in the repository where we have this, uh, where I built this uh, uh, Docker image. I will put a link in the description both to the repository and also to a blog post that I uh, wrote a bit about it so you can read a bit more about it. I hope you will try it. Thank you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. We don't have enough subscribers on this channel. <laughs>